Now, we like to think we've evolved and advanced because we can build a computer, fly an airplane, travel underwater, we can write a sonnet, paint a painting, compose an opera. But you know something? We're barely out of the jungle on this planet. Barely out of the fucking jungle. What we are is semi-civilized beasts with baseball caps and automatic weapons. <laughs> And this civilization of ours, that we're so proud of, this civilization with its so-called civilized behavior, you ever stop and realize how fragile all this is? How fragile the whole structure, how easily it could all just break right down? Just break right down. Wouldn't take much. Probably happened in less than two years. Wouldn't take much all, to throw us right back into barbaric times. All you'd have to do would be eliminate electricity. That's all. But, but completely eliminate electricity. So. No electricity, no lights. You're back to candles and lanterns, campfires and bonfires. Batteries couldn't be recharged. Generators couldn't be refueled because fuel is pumped electrically. So is water, by the way. So no lights, no fuel, no water. No computers. And computers run everything. And among the many things computers run that operate on electricity are all of these security systems in all of our jails and prisons and, and nut houses. So suddenly... <laughs> Without electricity, all across America, the gates and cell doors of penitentiaries and mental institutions would fly open. And out would come all of our old friends. The ones who've been away at camp. Serial killers, mass murderers, felony rapists, armed robbers, carjackers, home invaders, thieves, burglars, kidnappers, sadists, pedophiles, sexual predators, pimps, pushers, pornographers, speed freaks, crackheads, sick, junkies, all the ethnic street gangs, black, Spanish, and Asian gangs, Japanese Yakuza, Russian mafia, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, Sicilian hitmen, Italian mobsters, Jamaican and Colombian drug gangs. And those are just the ones we caught. Let's not forget their counterparts, still on the outside right now, waiting to hook up with their prison buddies so they can start a new organization, the American Federation of Sociopaths. Just what the country needs, another special interest group. Eight to ten million of them there'd be, counting all the parolees and all the probationers and the ones who've never been caught. Eight to ten million bitter, angry, violent, sexually hyperactive alpha males with nothing to do no hobbies, no medications, no scruples. Just a bunch of bad guys looking for a good time. Maybe dropping by your house. Hi, hope we're not intruding. Got any beer? Oh, good. Well, I got about 1,400 really thirsty guys here. How about women? Got any women? Oh, just your wife, huh? Well, I think we can make that work. <laughs> now, boys, there's a lady here, so I want you to mind your manners and wait your turn. <laughs> Police wouldn't help you. They'd be gone at the first sign of trouble. They'd be home protecting their own families. So would the Army and the National Guard. You'd be alone. You'd be on your own. You'd be SOL and JWF. Shit out of luck and jolly well fucked. <laughs> Shit out of luck and jolly well fucked. After a couple of years of living like that, beheadings would be the least of your problems. People would be lining up to be beheaded. So let's get back to suicide, which now seems like a reasonable alternative. <laughs> <laughs>